why this recording is about how to get GE map, the GEE map Python package working in a Docker container. Um, so this is the this is the website for GE map. It's a Python package that allows you to interface in an IPython notebook with Google Earth Engine, and it's really useful. Um, but I've made a Docker container to um, to allow you to run this without um, installing lots of um, Python packages on your computer. Uh, you do have to install Docker. So I'm going to assume you've already got Docker installed. Um, and the first thing I do is I, um, so I'm in Windows, I start the PowerShell window. Um, but if you're on Mac OS or Linux, you'll start a terminal. Um, then what I need to do, so this is, this is the Docker container. You can see the web address up here at the top. Um, so you can follow the instructions, but basically you need to grab the container first. So I just copy this. Um, I do this. I've already got this container, so it should uh, just say I've got the latest version. If you don't have this version yet, it'll download. Um, it'll take a little while to download the container. Um, once you've got that, again, the instructions are here. Um, so what we want is the um, running of the container. I'm just going to copy this. Um, that includes, well, I'll show you what these commands mean. So first, we've got the run command. This is interactive. Um, this maps a local directory to a directory on inside the container. Um, I've called mine CGE map data. So you're going to need to make a directory um, called GE map data. Um, so on your operating system, you'll need to you'll need to make a directory, figure out where that directory is, and link it in this part. Um, the container always has this directory GE map data, so that you don't change that. You just change this part of the command. Um, this thing says that your container is going to have a port, so the um, so a web browser can connect to it, and then this is the name of the container. Again, I've just co I've copied this from the instruction page. Okay, so I do that. Let's get this to run. Okay, so uh, once you see this hash sign, it means you're inside the container. Um, what I want to do, I want to do a couple of things here. Um, so currently, there's nothing in this container. I haven't got anything. I'm going to clone um, the GE map uh, repository. So it's already installed on the container. However, um, there's a lot of examples within this repository. Um, so I'm just going to grab the repository so I can see all the notebooks that are in here. OK, so I'll just. Uh, Git clone this repository, and that'll take a few seconds. Um, OK, so now I, I have the um, repository inside my com container. Um, it'll also be in this linked, this linked um, directory. OK, um, then what I want to do is I want to, uh, oops, I need to go back up here. I want to start a Jupyter Notebook. Um, actually, before I do that, um, so the, the container has a slightly older version of GE map in it. Um, I might update that later, but if you want to update it, you can run this command mamba update GEE map. So that'll update GEE map. Again, this will take a, a few seconds. Um, so if you run that command, the container will have the latest version of GEE map. So yes, I want to download this. Um, so this will give me the latest version of GEE map. Uh, then, if I go back here, I can copy this command to start a notebook. Uh, 
Okay. Um, and you need this token. So I'm going to start a new, uh, a new window and I'm going to go to local host. So you need this token. So I just copy this from, the, from here. It's different every single time. Okay, so now I've opened a Jupyter window. I can click on GE map if I go into examples. So that this is the repository I downloaded. I can go into notebooks and uh, open one of these notebooks and start playing with GE map. Um, just to let you know, when you do this, uh, once you start using GE map, it's going to um, take you to an authentication page. So when you start executing these boxes, you'll need to already have a Google Earth Engine account. Um, so hopefully that makes sense and you're able to use this Docker container to start playing with GE.